is CBS 11 News Now. Good morning. It's News Now, our digital update. I'm Karen Borda. We're learning more about what a woman claims happened that led to the firing of Dallas's longtime health director earlier this year in a grievance filed in December. One of Zach Thompson's employees says there have been, quote, several sexual encounters between me and my director, Zach Thompson, out of fear of losing my job. She filed the complaint one day after Thompson issued her what's called a corrective action corrective action subsequent warning relating to job performance. She claims the complaints about her work or retaliation came as retaliation or what she calls it and it started at the beginning of 2016 when Thompson became angry with her refusals. Thompson was set to retire at the end of January after nearly 15 years as health director but when the accusations came to light he was fired instead. Through his attorney he's denied all of the allegations. The man suspected of killing a Texas woman's university student is headed back to court this morning. Charles Bryant's accused of killing Jacqueline Vandergriff before dismembering her and then setting her body on fire. Yesterday, Bryant's lawyer argued the 24-year-old died during consensual sex and that Bryant panicked rather than call for help. Her partially burned body was found the next day in a plastic child's pool dumped near Lake Grapevine. Bryant is charged with capital murder. All right, and let's talk about our weather because I was as kind of dismayed yesterday when you and I were talking at this time. I had not yet been outside. By oh, the yeah. time <laughs> I went outside after we got out of work, after we finished the 11 o'clock show, the day could not have been more oh, beautiful. Great. And the whole rest of the afternoon, it was just Chamber of Commerce stuff. Yeah, today is the same way, really. I have lots of sunshine and light wind, which is always, it's kind of rare in April to yeah. have light wind, but. Uh, today is a day to enjoy. The wind will start picking up as the week goes on, but the temperatures will also keep climbing. So if you want even warmer than what we have today, just hold on tight. It's about to be here. Let's take a look outside right now. This might be a place to go today. Fossil Rim down in Glen Rose. Temperatures near 50 now, but we'll eventually get into the 70s later this afternoon. Just a gorgeous Tuesday. 71 the high. Northeast winds between 5 and 12 miles per hour. Now, windy and warmer tomorrow and Thursday, and we are still looking at the possibility of what could be severe weather on Friday. Nothing until then, though, in terms of storms, but Friday afternoon could see some storms develop, especially from the uh, Metroplex west uh, eastward. And it could be, uh, there could be more storms that develop overnight Friday night and the early Saturday morning. The timing of all this is going to be worked out over the next couple of days. All our computer models are a little bit uh, all over the place in terms of when the storms actually happen. So we need to wait till we get closer to Friday before we have a better handle on it. And the storm system that brings us this is not even in the United States yet. So whenever that, whenever we're watching a storm that's still over the Pacific Ocean, <laughs> the computer models have a harder time compared to when it actually gets here to the United States. So once that happens, which more than likely is tomorrow, we'll get a better idea for Friday and what to expect. But do pay attention to the weather Friday afternoon and evening. Right now I'm going with the 50% chance of showers and storms and maybe even a few storms late into Friday night. But the upcoming weekend looks pretty good. Sunshine, highs in the 60s. It, it will be cool, cooling off again, but not as cold as it was yesterday or uh, last weekend. Oh. And uh, certainly uh, the sunshine is going to help uh, Saturday and Sunday. So if you have to go to your child's, well, not have to go, but if, when you do get to go to your child's <laughs> when soccer you get game to go, <laughs> you know, it's always on a Saturday, you might want to bundle up, bring a blanket. Yeah, it's going to be like chilly that. in the morning. Yeah. Of course, this is the season with a lot of uh, races, 5Ks, mm -hmm. 10Ks. Right. We have more of those coming our way this weekend. Just make sure you're ready for it if you're running. And yeah, all those uh, baseball games like right. I'll be at with mm -hmm. my sons and then soccer games yeah. you need to bundle up this weekend. Okay, thank you, Jeff. Well, a Minnesota family is on a mission to find a beloved stuffed animal. Last week, the family visited family in Arizona and North Texas, and somewhere along the way, 10-year-old William lost his favorite toy, a stuffed Eeyore. Now, the plush has been with him throughout his battle with a brain condition. The family believes Eeyore was lost at one of three airports they visited, and that includes DFW, along with Minneapolis, St. Paul, and Phoenix. The family has taken to social media in hopes that someone will find it. Airports, they remind everyone, do have several lost and found areas, so they hope that someone who has seen the post ends up spotting the animal. Wouldn't that be wonderful for William? Well, thank you very much for watching CBS 11 News, the ones for Texas. For the latest updates, you can head to cbsdfw.com, and we're going to have another Facebook Live News Now update for you coming up at noon. Have a great day.